What's up, everybody? Andrew Mahone here with Tricky Jim at Full Grip Games. Today, we're going to be cracking two boxes of the newest Japanese Pokemon trading card game set, Shiny Star V. There are 140 secret rare Pokemon cards in this set, including some crazy shiny Pokemon V and Pokemon V Max, the shiny Charizard V, the shiny Charizard V Max uh, are both in this set. This is an absolutely crazy set to open. There are 330 total cards in this set, making it the largest Pokemon trading card game set ever released. Now, apparently there are 10 cards in each of these packs and each packs includes a guaranteed Pokemon V, I believe. So this is going to be an absolutely crazy opening. I've also seen uh, some some people open what is called a God Pack, which just has all shiny cards in it. So this is going to be a totally new experience for me. I don't usually open Japanese Pokemon trading card game product on stream. So if you're watching on YouTube, make sure to check out the Twitch stream, twitch.tv slash tricky gym, where I produce live Pokemon trading card game content every single weekday, which sometimes includes some crazy openings like this one that we have got on our hands today. So really stoked about this. And uh, I think that many of these cards are going to be making their way into our February set, I think, from what I've been reading online, which should be very hype. And here we go. Japanese booster boxes are always really crazy. I mean, they're just so different from the booster boxes that we are used to here in the West. And there are all of our packs. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 packs, 10 cards, 10 guaranteed shinies. Uh, or t yeah, I guess all of the Pokemon V are shiny. Are they all shiny? I, I have no idea to be honest. So this is going to be brand new for me. So hopefully you guys are excited about this opening. Let's get it kicked off. And the Japanese packs, of course, are a little bit different than uh, the packs I am used to opening. And I have no idea the order that any of these cards will be in. So we've got ourselves a Phalanx to kick things off. We've got uh, Galarian, uh, well, Galarian Meowth. We got a Sizzly Peed, Evolution Incense, or Beetle. This is going to be a real test of my knowledge of the newest Sword and Shield Pokemon, right? Uh, and we've got Sir Fetched, Aurora Energy, Hatterene, and a Zacian V. That is so sick. I actually love this. This is so cool. We got Zacian V in our first pack. Going to be really cool to include this in some of my decks. I do have four English copies of Zacian V. But being able to have like an extra card, you can't play it in a tournament, unfortunately. But having that extra Zashi and V just for my decks at home, I think is going to be really hype. So I think that that is very cool. Zashi and V is one of the best Pokemon cards ever printed. So to have that in an alternative language, I think is uh, just really hype. So I'm definitely stoked on that. All right, up next, we have got Croagunk. We've got that dude. All right, we've got Galarian Ponyta. We've got... You know, Swana 2, we've got that thing. Look at this, we've got a shiny Clavipus. All right, yeah, not having the names right in front of me, man. We are really put on the spot. <laughs> shiny, shiny Clavipus, that thing is super cute. That is uh, that is pretty, Chad, our first shiny of the opening. Look how cute it is. Love it. That is so cute. Are these codes worth, I mean, what are the, I don't even know what to do with the code. Go ahead, knock yourselves out. I don't, I don't know what to do with that code. Yeah. Uh, it's not for the Pokemon trading card game online, is it? Or is this for the Pokemon trading card game online? If it is, knock yourself out. Go ahead. That's cool. I don't mind. But, yeah, I thought to mine out. And we have Primate Wisdom Oranguru. That's amazing. This is such a good card as well. Love to see it. And Research. That is so cool. Professor's Research. Uh, oh, duh! <laughs> Yes, yes, no way, no way, no way. Oh my God, quick, get it in a sleeve, get it in a sleeve. I'm losing it, I'm losing it, chat. Oh, quick, quick, a sleeve, yes, yes, yes. Oh, it's beautiful, chat. Look at it, my baby, oh, my baby. <laughs> oh, yes absolutely insane check that out we've got one oh my goodness and like i said this pack this pack opening these are actually my cards uh sean was nice enough to let me buy two of these boxes off of him so really stoked on that 
Uh, so this is going into my personal collection. This is not a pack opening for the shop. Uh, just really stoked about that hit there. Uh, absolutely gorgeous card. Let's go, chat. Let's go. <laughs> Insane. Yes. I can't believe it. I was, you know, I, uh, I was really prepping to not open anything. I was like, you know, it's cool. We got two boxes, you know, maybe... You know, maybe it won't go very well. That's okay. You know, there. I don't always, you know, buy packs to open for myself. So I was like, okay, it's fine. It'll make for some really cool content. You know, I really low-key hope we open something good. Uh, but sure enough, there it is. Awesome. Really stoked about that. That I could not be happier. Uh, you know, in my opinion, the whole opening is now made. I'm, I'm cool. You know, the rest could be a total bust. Uh, I'm getting word in the chat that these codes are for uh, apparently the well, the Switch game. So, you know, that's fine. I, I don't need these. So if anybody could have any use for those, go ahead. Uh, we've got uh, Galarian, Farfetch'd, Stunfisk, Pinchurin, not Arctozolt, not Drakedozolt, something uh, fish. We've got Fish. All right, we've got Heat Fire Energy. Ooh, shiny Sinshin Arctovish. Thanks, chat. I'm going to need some assist from the chat on these. It's like I'm good on 99% of Pokemon's names, but, you know, put me on the spot, Japanese Japanese cards, you know, live on stream. Uh, we could have some uh, some hiccups. All right, we've got the shiny Sinchino there. Uh, that is beautiful. That's just an amazing card for sure. And uh, with the make-do ability, just uh, so, so sick. I mean, that's another really good playable card. And you can see how hype this set is, right? Because there are so many good playable cards in here. Frostmoth, and we've got Rillaboom V as well. So Frostmoth, I mean, all these really cool cards that I can use in my decks at home, which I love. And since you can't play with, uh, you know, Japanese cards in a tournament, I guess, unless you are in Japan, right? Uh, or at the World Championships and a Japanese player, uh, it's really cool to get to have these foreign language cards for you know the personal collection to get to use in my decks at home. Uh, that's something that uh, that's something that I, I'm just like really really uh, hype about, and I love including you know like uh, foreign language cards in my you know my old deck collection. And you know if you think about it, every format eventually becomes an old deck collection. Right? Every format eventually becomes an old format, right? So. Uh, you know, having these cards in a, in a foreign language, something I'm really, really stoked on. All right, there we go. See, we got Pokeball guy, insane. We've got, uh, yeah, a little, uh, little Rillaboom Boom Jr. there. Collab, dude, look at this dude. Look how sick that artwork is. That looks incredible. I love that. That is so, so sick. Wow. That looks amazing. The Colossal. I love Colossal. It's probably my favorite Pokemon line. Oh, my. Check that out. Yo. Reshiram Amazing Rare? What in the world? This is absurd. What a beautiful card. And we got a Dragapult V in Japanese. These packs are completely bonkers. How is every single pack is just completely loaded? Every single pack. Uh, has a Pokemon V in it guaranteed, and we've got that Reshiram Amazing Rare looking super hype. Definitely want to uh, put that one in a sleeve as well. The Amazing Rare cards are just so, so cool. It does 270 damage. I don't actually know what the translation is. Maybe it does 60 damage to itself. I think that might be what it does. So 270 damage for a uh, Fire, a Lightning, and a Water. And yeah, I think it does 60 damage to itself from what I can uh, can tell there. Uh, that is just so hype. I mean, some amazing cards that we've seen so far. Wow. And it's like I'm running out of room for the hits. I did not expect that, you know, the hits would be taking up so much space. But yeah, I guess when I think about it, there is a, a hit in every single pack uh, guaranteed. So that is that is extremely hype. All right, moving on. Here we go. Good stuff. Welder, right. You could power that thing up. 270 damage. Two shiny Zards. Who thinks we're getting the shiny Zard V Max to match our shiny Zard V? Anybody? Anybody think that uh, think we're gonna be able to get another shiny Zard V Max? That'd be sick. All right, we've got the Horror Psychic Energy, Hiding Darkness Energy. We got a Zamazenta Hollow Rare, Inteleon, very cool, and Eternatus V Max. Check that out. That's sick. 
uh, Eternatus V Max in Japanese. Again, uh, like I said, for my decks at home, I really like having uh, having foreign copies of cards for decks that I that I keep at home, and I think that this is just a really cool card to have in the collection. So really stoked on that Eternatus V Max. I don't actually own any English copies of Eternatus V Max yet. I have my four copies of Crobat V, but I don't have any. Uh, did I did I pack a shiny away? No, I didn't pack a shiny away. We didn't do that. I'm just making sure. No, no, some hollow rares. Cool. No, we didn't. The Colossal was cool, though. We did like that. The Frost Moth was cool. All right, just making sure. Keeping the good good cards out. All right, on to the next one. See what we got in this pack. All right, there's our code. Another Clobopus. Cool. So, chat, would you just take a moment to look at this Snom, which is sitting on a bench in a park. Like, what you doing there, Snom? Hmm? What you, uh, what, what you up to there, bud? Just hanging out at the park, vibing? This is definitely probably, I, this is the best Snom artwork I think I've seen. This is very strong. All right, let's quove it. Turbo Patch, Turbo Patch, really cool to have in Japanese as well. Bird Keeper. Stone Journer. Got our Glarian Berserker in DDV as our V Pokemon in the set. Very good in those uh, Mewtwo and Mew Tag Team GX decks. So that is, uh, is pretty cool as well. And every single pack having a Pokemon V in it is just so wild. I mean, it's like every single pack is so hype out of this set. I just cannot believe that every pack is just so loaded, right? Got another Ndidi. Oh, that guy is super cute. Senti Scorch. Jo there's the sword. Right? Well, I forget what the name of the sword is, but it gives your Zacians plus 30 damage. Rusty sword. Rusty sword. There you are. For my Zacian. There we go. They go together. Yeah. And we've got, uh, you know, Iskewi. Who do we got? Eternatus V. To go with the Eternatus V, Max. Parkers. Yo, check that out. Busted. Busted. I'm going to build a whole Japanese Eternatus V, Max deck by the end of this. Yeah, scope that out. We're well on our way. Yep, well on our way to building that uh, Japanese Eternatus VMAX. Now I just need some shiny Crobat Vs. The shiny Crobat V would be very hype. I think there is a Crobat VMAX in this set too, I believe. I know there's Dittos too. There's some really cool stuff uh, from what I've seen online. Let's see, Garbodor, sick. Uh, yo, this Gengar looks insane. Check that out. That is some beautiful artwork on the Gengar. And I have to say... Uh, the artwork on these Pokemon cards has been just absolutely phenomenal lately. So that uh, that Gengar is really hype for sure. It just looks so good. And uh, is that a Duraludon, I believe? And Ditto V, check it out. Oh yeah, Ditto V just says, yeah, you want some, you want some smoke, bud? Yo, you don't want no smoke from me. Ditto V, epic, epic card. Love it. The artwork on this thing is incredible. And the crazy thing about the set is that it's such, and another rusty sword, it's such a huge set that our odds of getting you know, repeat cards in the opening are pretty small. I mean, it's the biggest Pokemon trading card game set ever released. There is over 300 cards in the set, 330 cards in the set. Absolutely absurd. There we go. Bonnelby, right off the top. Rotom, looking super cute as well. That is a nice artwork on that Rotom. I really like that. That is cool. Another Cinchino. So there's like, yeah, multiple artworks. This is like just a Cinchino reprint. And then we've got the shiny Cinchino as well. Check them out. Is that, uh, what? Is, is that uh, Aracuda, right? Aracuda to go with our Cramorant deck? Check them out. Shiny Aracuda chat. Looking looking swell looking real handsome what a nice fish shiny fish boy looking real cute there Aracuda. love to see it that is an awesome hit love that and we've got dragapult and is that a that is a heatran look at that heatran walling out over there looking crazy and sure enough cramorants to go and we got Hyper Potion. Cramorant to go with the Aracuda chat. I mean, could we imagine a more perfect pack than that? Cramorant and the Aracuda in the same pack. 
beautiful combo. Love it. And also, Chad, I think, all right, something that I don't know if you guys can see at home. Do you guys see the sheen on that? Uh, that Hyper Potion? I think it's not every card, but at the back of the pack, um, at the back of the pack, there is, you know, a card that's got like kind of a special oil texture to it, which is really crazy. I don't think that I've, it's the reverse hollow, apparently. It's very subtle, so I actually think that I've kind of missed it up until this point, but that's pretty wild. I have never uh, never seen something like that before, so I guess that is what is, you know, that's the reverse hollows in these set, in this set. It's uh, kind of that oily sheen that we see there. All right, and the last pack of our first box, we've got one more to go. All right. All right, you got it. Come on, Mahone. All right, we're getting in there. Beautiful. Excellent. Okay, we've got a little Applin, cool. Galarian Zigzagoon, hype. Yamper, Capacious Bucket, Sanaconda, Rilla Boomer, Melodic. And a Doxtricity V Max. That is super sick. And then, yeah, there's the oily. Uh, Dreepy there in the back. You can see all of them have that. You know, that last card in the pack is always a reverse. So Toxtricity VMAX, super sick. All right, that is our first box. I think that's just one box of Shiny V. Look how many, and there were only 10 packs. Look how many hits we had. Look how many hype cards there are in just one of these Japanese booster boxes. Absolutely insane. We got an amazing rare. We got 10 Pokemon V cards because there's one in every single pack. We got a bunch of really good hollow rares. We've got the uh, Professor's Research. We've got the Primate Wisdom Orangaroo. We've got uh, what, one, two V Maxes. We've got a shiny. So we got just one shiny Pokemon V in our box, and it just happened to be the Charizard. That is so nuts. I am really stoked on that. And we've got three regular shiny Pokemon in our box. So three regular shinies, one shiny uh, Pokemon V, and one amazing rare card. And that's just the first box. We got one more box to go, chat. So what do you think? Let me know what kind of pulls do you think we are going to have in our second box here? Am I going to find the shiny Charizard V Max to go with our shiny Charizard V? Let's go, chat. Let's go. Can we find this set was op uh, was released on November twentieth, so just released in Japan. Uh, really stoked that we have some to show off here on the channel. I mean, I really do enjoy doing pack openings. Uh, every once, every time there's a new set, I really like doing a pack opening to kind of break in the set, take a look at the new cards, really take in the new artwork, uh, just kind of you know feel out what the set is all about. So really hyped to get to do this with this. Uh, with this crazy shiny set from Japan. This is uh, something I'm really stoked on. So let's see what we get in these packs. And I believe we are going to be getting many of these cards in our 25th anniversary set, which is going to be coming out in February. I, they won't be packs. I, they probably won't be packs just like this. But, you know, I can't say. I mean, none of us really know, right? All right. We've got... A Phalanx, all right, Phalanx fans, what's up? Turn up, we've got a Phalanx V as our first V Pokemon from the new box. We've been playing some Phalanx V on stream lately and it's been a ton of fun, so definitely stoked on that. It's really, really cool. The Handsome Phalanx we've now got in Japanese. We've been playing Phalanx with uh, the new B supporter from Vivid Voltage. All right, there we go, Grookey, what's up, Grookey? To Denny, Sinchino. Ooh, a shiny Drizzile. We did get a holographic. Uh, we did get a holographic Inteleon in our other box. Shiny Drizzile looking mighty fine there. Check that dude out. Able to go get a what trainer card out of your deck when you evolve it. Super hype. Love that. And we've got a Melodic Holographic. We got another Colossal. This is my second Colossal. And those things just look really nice. That artwork on that Colossal is just uh, is just top tier for sure. And we've got a gorgeous Lapras VMAX 
as are Pokemon V from the pack. I love Lapras V Max. This card is so sick. The artwork is beautiful. I'm really stoked to add that one to the collection. Good stuff. Good stuff, Lapras. I've been playing uh, a little bit of Lapras Frost Moth on stream and, uh, you know, getting that Lapras powered up with a ton of water energy. You can just one hit KO anything. So sick. All right, next pack. See what we got. Honage. This set is so huge. I mean, I'm just like blown away at how many cards there are in the set. It feels like every pack I see something new that I uh, that I haven't seen yet. And Senti Scorch V, love to see that. Look at that little ducklet as our uh, our oily hollow there. Senti Scorch V. I've actually really been enjoying Senti Scorch V Max. Uh, on stream lately, I think Senti Scorch VMAX is, I'm falling for the fire decks, chat. Uh, Senti Scorch VMAX is quickly becoming one of my favorite decks in standard format right now, so really hyped to get that Senti Scorch V. I actually don't own any Senti Scorch VMAX stuff uh, in real life right now, so I think that might be one of my first Senti Scorch Vs, so really stoked on that. That is uh, really hype. Let's go, Senti. Let's go. All right, up next, Coughing. That coughing artwork is just top notch for sure. Check that out. Oh, that is so sick. It's like on some train tracks and there's, you know, some beautiful autumn forest behind it. I mean, just look how amazing that artwork is. Toxel, Clefairy, Turbo Patch, Galarian Linoon, Bird Keeper, another Rilla Boomer. And we've got a Zacian Hollow Rare. And we got a Crobat VMAX. Check that out. Brand new card from Shiny Star V. Crobat VMAX. Looking absolutely glorious there. It's not the shiny one. The shiny one, I think, is pink, right? But still a beautiful card. Brand new from Shiny Star V. Crobat V. Who knew your Crobat V could evolve into a glorious Crobat V Max? Check that thing out. Absolutely sick. Really stoked to have that. I love Crobat. Crobat's definitely, uh, definitely a top tier Pokemon in my eyes. I just love, love the design of it. Have good memories of Crobat. You know, Crobat won me my one regional championship. Love it. Uh, definitely can't get me enough. Can't get me enough of Crobat. Super sick hit there. All right, so we got up Galarian Ponyta. Cool, far-fetched. Stormfisk. Corviknight, Speed Lightning Energy. Nice. Looking beautiful there, Cramorant. Heatran. And Dubwool. Dubwoolski. Uh, coming in with our Pokemon V hit in the pack. Japanese double. I have like a million doubles because I opened some of the Champions Path, uh, the Champions Path double boxes, right? So I feel like I have I have more doubles than a person could ever need. So welcome to the collection, double. You've got many sheep friends in my binder for sure. All right, Sinisty, Aracuda, Calabapus, not Calabapus, uh, Grappalocked. That's who that is. All right, the Shield version of the Rusty. Sword, yeah, Rusty Shield, Bolt Hunt. Wow, look at that. Galarian Obstagoon, looking super cool there. And I think this is the same one. This is the same Obstruct one. It should be Obstruct, yep, 90 damage. And it does the three damage counter, so it's literally just a different artwork of the same good old uh, Galarian Obstagoon that we are used to. That is a really cool artwork there on that uh, fam favorite card. And we got a Dragapult VMAX, which is super hyped to go with our Dragapult V that we opened in our other box. So now we've got one Dragapult V, one Dragapult V Max. We've got one Eternatus V and one Eternatus V Max. Still holding out for a shiny Pokemon V or one of those loaded God Packs. That would be insane. Uh, we did get one shiny Pokemon V in our last booster box. So we're hoping that those, uh, you know, those pull rates can. Remain the same in the second box. Ooh, check that out, dude. What, shiny Flapple? Yeah, shiny Flapple. Looking real cute. That is so sick. Uh, I believe this is probably the one. Is this the one that has the, uh, you evolve and then you can, uh, 
you evolve and it does damage, something like that, right? You get to place damage counters. Is that the same one? Pretty sure. Place two damage counters on evolution. Yeah. Looking cute there. Nice little green apple. Yep. Sick. Love it. And we've got Golisopod for our Aeropod deck. And Lapras V. Check that out. Sick. Lapras V to go with our Lapras V Max. Wow, we're getting all of the all of the pairs. We got Japanese Lapras V, Japanese Lapras V Max, Japanese Dragapult V Max, Japanese Dragapult V. Crobat. You need a friend, Crobat. You need a friend. I'm thinking we need we need a shiny Crobat V, chat. Anybody, anybody with me? Shiny Crobat V? I think that'd be pretty hype. All right, we got, is that Rotom? I think that Rotom art is super cool too. I like that. The Roar Energy. The Yeltal. Eskewy. No! <laughs> Look at that! Look at this dude! Shiny Senti Scorch V! So sick. Look at that. That's a handsome man. <laughs> That's a handsome snake, chat. That is a beautiful, handsome snake. Wow. Look at that. I know. People in the chat are going to be, it's a centipede. Yeah, I know it's a centipede, but I like calling him a snake. He's a big fire snake. Well, fire bug, I guess. He's way too big to be a snake. All right, chat. Way too big. And an oily, early oily bird keeper there. Fantastic. Love it. These cards are so hype. I cannot wait until uh, hopefully these artworks come out in English. I believe that they they are slotted for our February anniversary set. I believe so. And just think, think about if you guys thought Champion's Path was insane, think about how insane it is going to be with these with these cards dropping in the West. Can you can you even just imagine can your brains even comprehend if you thought the Champion's Path drop was nuts? And you thought that you couldn't find any champion's path at your Target or your Walmart or whatever. Imagine what this set's going to be like when it drops. Can you even imagine it? I mean, it's going to be completely nuts. It's 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 going to be so insane, right? Everybody's going to want it. Yeah. It's going to be so hype. Yo, we've got our second one. Check that out. Another Reshiram Amazing Rare. Okay, I'll take it. Seems hype. This card seems really cool, so I definitely don't mind that. And another Japanese Eternatus V. Okay, I'll take it. So now we've got two Japanese Eternatus V and uh, one Japanese Eternatus V Max. And I really hope, I, I wish that they would let you play with Japanese cards in tournaments. I really do. Because, you know, as a collector, this is really, really sick, honestly. But then I would I would love to be able to play those Eternatus cards in a tournament eventually, you know, when uh, events come back. But... That is uh, really, really hype. Really stoked on that. All right, last pack of our opening. Let's see. See what we can find, chats. Yamper. We've got our Clopopus. Snom. Pokeball guy. And we've got a shiny Yam Mask. Is that, is that a Yam Mask? That's a Yam. It's like Runagris Jr. Was it Galarian Yam Mask? What is this guy? This shiny Runagris Jr. It's shiny Yamas. It's still called a Yamask, right? I would love to just be able to read it and <laughs> say that it is a, uh, it's Death Mask in Japanese. Yes, that does sound like a Japanese uh, version of the name. Yes, but the shiny Yamask. That thing is so cute. I love it. Oh, he's adorable. Adorable. I couldn't remember if uh, Yamask evolved in Varunagris or if it was like had a different name, but that is just uh, so, so sick. Really stoked on that. And then we've got another research, and our last Pokemon V is Cramorant. All right, Cramorant pulling up the rear of our opening, and we've got an oily Corviknight there, last card in the pack. So our second box, we were able to open, of course, 10 Pokemon V. We opened another amazing rare Reshiram. We opened, what, one, two, three? Still got the three shiny Pokemon. We were guaranteed our one shiny Pokemon uh, V, right? Uh, so that is just, uh, that's that's an amazing box. I mean, both of these boxes were incredibly strong. 
Uh, I think that this was uh, this was just a really cool opening. So big thanks again to Sean for hooking us up with some shiny star V boxes. I am really stoked about these cards. That Senti Scorch hit is just so cool. And uh, honestly, all of these cards in the shiny star V set were just gorgeous to look at. The opening experience was one of the most hype opening experiences of my life. And again, from the first box, we had that uh, shiny Charizard V, our other Reshiram Charizard. We had the Eternatus V, Eternatus V Max. We had the Dragapult V, Rillaboom V, Zacian V, uh, our shiny Sinchino, another research, Orangaroo, shiny Clavapus, Toxtricity V Max, the Ditto V, new Ditto V, and DDV, Aracuda, and another Cramorant. So some amazing hits here from these shiny star V boxes. Big thanks again to Sean for the hookup. And if you're watching on YouTube, thank you so much for watching the, the video. Make sure to like the channel. Uh, like <laughs> if you're watching on YouTube, thank you so much for watching the video. Make sure to like the video, sub to the channel, ring that bell. And of course, check out fullgripgames.com for all the best Pokemon trading card game singles. If you're looking for the best Pokemon trading card game online codes, make sure to check out fullgripcodes.com for instant PTCGO co code delivery. And of course, supporting the shop at Full Grip Games directly supports the content I create here on Tricky Gym. If you are watching on YouTube, the stream is happening live actually on Twitch. So make sure to head on over to the Twitch stream, twitch.tv slash Tricky Gym, where I stream live Pokemon trading card game content every single weekday. Y'all take it easy and have a great day. Peace.